Hello there, welcome to Movie Daft Television News with me, Nelson Baffer. England has confirmed that youngsters Phil Foden and Mason Greenwood have been sent home separately after they allegedly invited two girls to the England team hotel in Reykjavik, I, uh, Reykjavik Iceland and breaking coronavirus isolation rules as a result. The England manager Gary Southgate um, said at a press conference uh, before the uh, Tuesday match against uh, Denmark uh, that unfortunately this morning it was brought to my attention that two boys have broken COVID guidelines in terms of our secure bubble. We had to decide very quickly that they couldn't have any interaction with the team. They wouldn't be able to travel to training given the protocols they have to follow. They have to travel back to England separately. It's a very unfortunate incident for the two players who made their debut, Phil Foden starting the game and uh, um, Mason Greenwood coming as a substitute in England's, in England's 1-0 win over Iceland on Saturday. Um, this incident brings to mind what happened in the, uh, the Tunisia 2004, the African Nations Cup in Tunisia 2004, when the Super Eagles of Nigeria uh, and their coaches were forced to send home three players of the Nigerian national team, Victor Agali, Yakubu Ayegbeni, and um, uh, Victor Agali, Yakubu Ayegbeni, and I've forgotten the third one now. Uh, they were forced to send the three players home after it was discovered that the three players um, had girls uh, uh, had been with girls just prior to um, one of the Super Eagles matches, and so uh, it is a big disappointment for the players. Uh, just like Arsene Wenger uh, was quoted to have said some years ago, was the essence of training, was the need of training and working so hard before a game, only to destroy it the night before a match. Well, the two guys are young players and uh, hopefully they will be able to learn from this episode and um, get better and uh, try to be uh, more sensible in their uh, dealings with uh, th themselves and of course with their dealings in the national team and I hope that uh, they are going to come back stronger and uh, be better for the experience. Nelson Daffer.